in your book about developing trust when you're learning something new and how, how did your coach create that trust and build confidence for you? You know, um, uh, I think uh, early on I started to realize that uh, Makoto Sakamoto, my coach, uh, would never ask me to try something unless I was ready to do it. He was very um, big on progressions, very big on building a foundation. The broader the base of the pyramid, the higher the pyramid can be. And so, so we we focused on the fundamentals. And so, when the time came to to do that first skill where you flip upside down and go backwards, um, I noticed that that as I would try these things for the first time, I would I was successful at it. And not not so much because of my innate ability, but because I had prepared to do that next step because my coach had taught me properly. And and so uh, I learned to, to 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 trust my coach, and so that. When the time came to do a very crazy, risky skill in my mind, um, I was able to do it. I remember very vividly, for example, my first double back flip off the horizontal bar. You know, do the giants around the bar, let go of the bar and do a double back flip. I remember um, lining up in front of uh, my coach. We all lined up as a group and um, and my coach would uh, stand there in front of us and he kind of say, okay, today let's focus on this, 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 this. And then he'd say, okay, begin workout. And then we'd, we'd break and begin our workout. So we're lined up one day, and he'd say, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this today. And then he looked at me and said, oh, and Pete, um, let's do a double back flip off the high bar today. And then he, then we're done. And I thought, <gasps> double back flip. But a double back flip. What am I going to do? And so I, I spent a lot of time in the bathroom that day. Okay. Go check out the bathroom? Yeah, and I go in the bathroom, and I just sit, you know, in the stall going, oh, man, what am I going to do? Maybe he'll forget. Maybe if I stay in here long enough, when I come out, he'll forget to ask me to do, to do the double back. And so I remember walking out of the bathroom and going, okay, Pete, let's go to high bar. I'm like, oh, here it goes. And I remember, though, I remember that I, I knew inside I was going to go for it. I wasn't going to chicken out. I was going to go for it because I had been taught to just trust him. And, and, and when he says do it, you do it. And so I get up there, and here he is standing there, and I go, giant, giant. And I go, one, two. And I over-rotated and flipped over and landed on my back. I made it easy. And, and I can't begin to tell you the elation I felt when I did that. I did it! It was just, I was out of my mind excited. I was so excited. I thought I could do 20 more of them that day. Because now I broke through that barrier. I con conquered the fear. And, uh, and my coach was right. Wow, he was right. So the next time I did it, and did it with a twist, uh, and he asked, me, uh, he asked me to, you know, you're ready to go for it. I, I trusted him and I did it. And he was a great coach. And, and he was an Olympian. He'd been there, done that. So he had earned the right um, to, um, uh, for me, I guess, he, well, he'd earned my respect, not only just from his performance, but also from the way that he coached me and the way that he taught me. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.